Oh, guys and gals, this is uh, out on a little hiking trip with the dogs. Remember what I told you about venomous snakes will typically coil up in defense? Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Uh, right there, guys. It's a, co it's a uh, cotton mouth. Little baby cotton mouth water moccasin right there underneath that tree. Trying to find water for the dogs, for them to drink. It's hot out here. I've not had any rain for weeks. Uh, unfortunately, wherever the water is going to go to, also the animals, including the snakes and the frogs. Notice this posture. I'm sorry, I'm not holding it right. Holding the camera still. Notice this posture. It's cold up ready to strike. As we've talked about in previous videos, uh, water snakes, non-venomous snakes, they're going to try to camouflage. They're just going to try to hide. Where a venomous snake typically will call up pose ready to strike because they have something to... F Bo, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Bo. Come on. Get out of the water. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Dog's oblivious to the danger. Yeah, uh, see if I can get this zoom back out. Hot dog's oblivious to the danger. Didn't bring my pocket compass. It's a little... What time is it? Hang on. It's uh, 3.49 p.m. I know I need to go west. There's the sun. And uh, my d there's a path, old logging road over there. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. Out here, I wasn't planning on doing any videos. All I want to do is just take some pictures. And dogs and I are following this old creek. Creek bottom is dried up. Looking for uh, water for them. I'm doing fine, but they're just running and playing and wearing themselves out, getting hot. And what we do? Walked up on a baby cotton mouth, water moccasin. All right, guys and gals, that's the direction we're going. One of my west. previous videos, I think it was ethical preparedness says, Kevin, you sure do have a lot of snakes around your place. Well, this is kind of open land. Anybody can go out here. It's not part of the farm. It's connected to the farm, it's, but it's just open land. Timber company owns it, but it's not leased. I put myself in positions, in a position, to run up on wildlife like that. Prepper, survivalist, you'll, you'll see them just sitting at the house or sitting in the shed talking about stuff. And some of them that get out and actually do stuff will run into stuff like copperheads, water moccasins, water snakes, uh, different things. That's just the way it is. Also, <laughs> like I said in another video, talking about using a swamp, and we're heading... West, there's the sun, north. We want to head right over. It's okay to change course. I know where I'm at. So, if you get outside, I mean, if you get outside and you do something and you pay attention, like I posted in uh, using a swamp as a bug out location, I grew up next to a marsh and a swamp. There is a difference between the two. I grew up next to a marsh. That was connected to a swamp. I grew up seeing alligators. I'd be out uh, knee boarding, hydro sliding is what we called it. Pass right by an alligator while out hydro sliding in a, in a, on a, in a bayou. And uh, it was not uncommon to walk out of the backyard and find a cotton mouth. Because, I mean, we lived right there on the swamp, right there next to the swamp. So I know what to look for. So it's not necessarily that there are a lot of snakes around here. I just pay attention. I know what to look for. And I get outside more than a lot of the other prepper channels on YouTube. <sighs> they're going that way. They know where they're at. Uh, they'll follow me. They like to run off and go find stuff. Let's see here. Which way do we go, guys? I need to go that way. But that way's more clear. So this way. So let's keep talking. So, yeah, um, ethical preparedness was somewhat correct. I mean, there are a lot of snakes, but the reason why I do videos about snakes is because I observe. I know what to look for whenever I'm in certain areas. Uh, then I know what, I have an idea of what type of snake I'm going to run into there. Like this, this pine thicket here. Chances are we are not going to run into a uh, water moccasin here because water moccasins eat what? Frogs, perch, stuff like that. And there's no frogs, perch, stuff like this. So what kind of snakes are we gonna run into here? Chances are, a venomous snake we're gonna run into is a timber rattler. And a uh, Yopon hollies. Great, just great. Oh man, 
Joe Pond Holly's get thick in here. Uh, copperhead. Copperhead is probably going to be the most common, and then where copperheads typically, typically going to be at. They are going to be around logs, stuff like that, uh, decaying plant matter, because copperheads eat what? They eat bugs. Late at night, you may even find a copperhead outside underneath a security light or near a security light because they will be out there eating the bugs that bump in a security light and fall to the ground. Ain't that right, Zoe? Ain't that right, girl? So, yeah, there are snakes around here, but I post a lot of videos about snakes because I get out and I do stuff. I go hiking, I go out uh, with the dogs, go walking, and if you do stuff like that and you pay attention and you're observant, you know what to look for, you will see uh, various types of wildlife, such as snakes. I always keep an eye. See that shadow right there? It's west. That's west. That's the direction we need to go. Well, right in there. Oh, there's a trail over there, old logging road, abandoned logging road I'm heading towards with the dogs. All right, guys and gals, that's it for now. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I will talk to y'all later.